Well, how do there, people? It is I, Captain of the Steers, and today, chums, I got myself a massive freaking cup of coffee. Look, it's as big as my head, but it nearly is. A freaking jar of coffee, that one, isn't it? I'm going to have another little sip. Very lovely, very yummy. Anyways, people, what are we going to be talking about today, other than how big my coffee glass is? <laughs> yes, we're going to be talking about PlayStation VR 2, because it seems that reviewers have got on their hands on hardware. So let's jump on over inside of the viewerverse. Chikaboom! Actually, let's put me on the screen. On the screen, please. There we go. There I am. So, we've got lots of people doing unboxing videos. Now, it doesn't feel to me that they're actually able to play it yet. Just sort of look at the actual technology, see how it feels, see how it looks. You lucky gets and getting yourself a review copy, though. I'd love to have freaking PlayStation VR 2, but I think it's quite outside of my budget and my range right now, people. Anyway, scrolling down, there's quite a lot of, a lot of these unboxing sort of videos i don't know how they managed to get hold of them i don't even know how you go about reaching out and asking for one but yeah lots of hands-on with the thing and unboxing it but again it doesn't look like they've actually got their own footage it all looks like pre sort of given footage i'd have to watch a few but where i have been watching them is like proper you know vr hands-on gameplay reviews of say like the likes of gran turismo 7 now inside of the ign ron here i think that's ryan mccaffey isn't it he talks about um how he used to own a delorean in real life and inside of gran turismo 7 he actually gets inside of a delorean and looks around inside of it and walks around it and all that sort of shenanigans and he says it's perfect to his own delorean Every single part of it, it felt like he was sitting in his actual DeLorean that he used to own. And that's got me extremely excited. I mean, I like Gran Turismo 7. I actually own Gran Turismo 7, and I've done a couple of play videos of Gran Turismo 7. I had it in all my own decals of No Man's Sky type stuff inside of my Gran Turismo episodes. If you haven't seen those, they're worth a look. I'll go into the technicalities of it and how you can go about doing it yourself as well. So Gran Turismo 7, I really actually liked the flat version. So to hear Hear these people talking about how impressive and how immersive Gran Turismo 7 is is extremely exciting. Now, if I put in a No Man's Sky on here, because you know that's the game that I really want to bring to my channel, I will cover um, you know Gran Turismo 7 as soon as I manage to get my scrubby little mitts on a PlayStation VR 2. Then hopefully, hopefully I'll be I'll be covering that off. You see how you've got this PlayStation sort of tear at the top with the pillback sort of going on. I'm really not liking the channels that are ripping that off and putting it on their videos to make you feel that it's a proper official PlayStation freaking thumbnail when it's not. That's doing my blood and getting head in. Yeah, anyways, there's not much to go on here apart from the announcement trailer, which I can hit on up. I am going to have to mute it, though, because I know that the music inside it is sort of copyrighted. But let's just put something on in the background just for the sake of having something on in the background anyway while I'm talking about PlayStation VR 2. So those that have sort of said about VR and the way that VR is going, they've been saying, you know, if No Man's Sky looks as good as it looks on things like the Valve and also on the high-end sort of, you know, the Quest sort of models of VR, then we could be in for a real big treat when it comes to No Man's Sky. Now, I am hoping that it has been properly optimized and we are going to be seeing less popping and a lot more foliage and draw distance because that was my main drawbacks and my own, own sort of gripes when it came to PlayStation VR um, originally. I mean, I'm going to up the quality on that. I didn't realize just how bad that actually was. Or if you remember your quality, let's just restart that anyway. So yeah, when I used to play No Man's Sky in VR, I found that it was a little bit pixely and the density of foliage wasn't all that great. Even when I used to play on my PlayStation 5, I had to hit up the PlayStation 4 version to play VR. And then the cables that I had for the VR back then on PlayStation VR, the first one, you had to have USB 1 for the actual move controllers, PS uh, USB 2 for your PlayStation 4 joypad because you couldn't use the PlayStation 5 joypad. I've got the PlayStation 5 HD camera up there. You can't use that. You have to use the PlayStation 4 old school sort of um, freaking camera. And where do you stick that on top of your monitor when you've got freaking lights all over it when you're streaming? 
I just had wires everywhere. It was a spaghetti freaking junction of madness. So well, I'm hoping when I pick up PlayStation VR 2, there's a lot less wires, which there should be, you know. These new Move controllers, they look freaking awesome. I've heard that even the actual helmet has got some sort of VR sort of well, haptic feedback thrown in there as well. An IGN video in the background. Hopefully I'm not going to be flagged for that running in the background. But yeah, let's uh, let's just put in PSVR 2. Let's, uh, oh, let's, I could just leave that up, I suppose. It'd be nice if we can find the official Sony one. Let's see if there's an official Sony one. They're less likely to get angry, aren't they? Let's just hit that. You know, I'd have that in the background for now. So yeah, what I'm after really from you guys and the view of us is, are you excited for PlayStation VR 2? Is it something that you're going to be investing in and uh, picking up yourselves? Would you be excited to see me play No Man's Sky in VR on my actual um, channel and start maybe a new playthrough and uh, do a sort of guide for VR play? I mean, it doesn't have to just be strictly VR play, does it? But, you know, it might encourage me to do another playthrough is what I'm saying because I'll be playing from another perspective. The only trouble is I don't know how hard it's going to be to actually do this live as the quality dropped again on this blinking video why doesn't it just remember my freaking settings if there's a way to get it so youtube remembers your settings for life people let me know because <laughs> i can't bloody find it if there is forever doing that don't have to do it on the smart tv funny enough just through the pc why it makes no sense anyway peeps i'm going to be ending off but this is just a, a quick video from, you know, a cup of tea with captain steve this morning well coffee in this in this case yeah pretty darn nice Had the old No Man's Sky there as well, but look at that control. Yeah, and that's going to be great for guns and things, isn't it? Like that. Yeah, freaking awesome. Tempest 3D Audio Tech. It's good, but where's the freaking headset for it? There's no sort of jack to plug them in. You've got to plug in a separate headset and probably get the Sony headset at that. So sort of really take that in for better immersion. Now, the old headset had earbuds that you could plug in. Yeah, when I tried trading mine in at CEX, they didn't like my earbuds. They told me to take it home and clear my earbuds a little. I forgot I let my niece play with it. <laughs> yeah, it was very waxy at the end of it. But anyways, yeah, uh, here we go. So it does look pretty darn nice. I'm liking the look of the hardware. I'm liking the new look and feel. I'm liking the fact that it's got front sensing cameras so you can actually see the world around you because that was a massive drawback of the first piece of hardware. It really was. There we go. I am excited for it. So my thoughts and feelings on this, peeps, just to let me round this off a little, is I feel that it's quite an expensive bit of kit. And the actual array of games, there's not all that many on the side of the PlayStation Store at the moment, which is something that I could have hit up thinking about it. In fact, I'll turn my PlayStation on, and if it's on in time, I'll show you the actual titles that are available for PSVR 2 now, because there's, there's not that many, to be honest. Um, let's, just, let's jump over. Let's see if my PlayStation's booted up by now. Should have done. It's fairly quick. So here we are. Let's hit this on up. Because the last time I looked, there was probably, what, about eight or nine titles and I think from about those eight or nine titles I think there was there was only one amongst them that I actually like the look of so yeah here's a new update people for PlayStation it actually lets you put in like a four digit code to protect your account so that's pretty darn nice anyway if you go into here go on down to uh, PlayStation VR 2 games which is over here boom and here we go so out of all of these the ones that I like the look of let's go through them uh, the village no I'm not really into that Kayaking VR. Really? Mirage? No, what the? Okay, no, probably not for me. Horizon. I do like the world of Horizon, but 60 quid. It depends on how big it is. Depends on how big that game is, because at the moment it looks like a tech demo. It doesn't look like a full game, does it? I don't know whether I want to pay like 60 pounds. Oh, that's interesting. No Man's Sky as an update wasn't inside of this library when I checked the other week. It's there now, people. It's there. Heck yes. Okay, well, we've got Star Wars there. Star Wars, Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. That looks kind of nice. That's interesting, though, that it's already in there. So maybe they don't have to push the update out to the actual PlayStation Store, because it's already freaking there. So that could be why we haven't seen anything happen on the Steam databases at all over on um, the PC side of things. Maybe there's not going to be an update that coincides with No Man's Sky VR release. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, so Star Wars, that interests me. But again, 40 quid for a game that I don't know how large it is or how many hours I'm going to get out of it or how linear it is or how story driven it is. Okay, so I've got that one there. What the fudge is that called? It looks like it just says demo on it. 
uh, Damio or something. I've never heard of it. I have to do a bit more research on that one, but at least it's in a sale. Okay, Retribution. Not heard of that either. I'm not. I've not heard of a lot of these. You know, and I think that's where gaming is falling down a little bit in the way that they tend to advertise or push themselves out there. I mean, the way I used to learn about games when I was younger is I used to go to an arcade and you'd find out, you you hit up Tekken or Virtual Fighter or freaking the latest Street Fighter and you'd get excited for it to come to console or the latest console would then bring that level up to almost being as good as the arcade. That sort of excitement has gone, hasn't it? And it's not like you go into into magazine shops and pick up the latest copy of Edge anymore or get a demo disc on the front that you can actually play or anything like that. You have just got to rely on online sources like the IGNs of the world and Metacritic and all that sort of stuff. Okay, Moss 2. It'd be nice if it included a revamp of Moss 1. Uh, I never did complete Moss 1. I got a little bit tired of the puzzles. They got very repetitive after a while. Although I loved Moss as a character and I loved the world, the actual puzzles themselves just... just didn't... they weren't up to par in my likings anyway. Okay, we've got Cosmonus High, whatever that is. That looks a bit freaking weird. But yeah, could be interesting, couldn't it? Let's have a quick click on that. Let's have a look. Very colourful, very VR sort of looking, isn't it? Yeah, I think I'm going to sneeze, people. I did sneeze. It was just a dust sneeze. I'm okay. Townsman VR and Tentacooler. What the fudge is that? I bet it's another really colourful... Yeah, there we are. It's typical VR stuff. You, you would have thought they would be pushing the boundaries of VR too, but I don't think there's anything that's going to show off the technology for a while. I've seen Dimash Smash good at game playing Zenith, and that looks okay. Sort of like an online-y sort of one, that one. Like an MMO. And it looks quite cool. But again, it's got the very cartoony style. It looks very sort of Fortnite world, doesn't it? They are. Yeah. But if you want to see that being played, good at gameplay is that. He plays that quite often, in fact. It's all right, but it looks a bit buggy. It looks a bit disjointed. I wouldn't say it's a full game as yet, anyway. Songs of something. Uh, so may that be bigger. Songs are uh, songs in the smoke. Okay. Well, that looks quite visually stunning, doesn't it? All right. Well, that might be one to look into to find out what that's all about. But again, the title doesn't quite grab me, but the imagery does. Yeah. Okay. We've got a few others here, anyway. There's a couple, but there's not a great deal, is there, really? This one looks good. This one that's just announced, this Crossfire. I was pretty impressed with the graphics on this one. This one looks almost... Okay, I, I actually went online and viewed that one, but it looks pretty darn freaking great, that one. Yep. Uh, what else is there? Firewall Ultra. Oh, da -da -da -da. Did I look at this one? No, I didn't. But this kind of just looks like a sub sort of game inside of Cyberpunk, doesn't it, there? I don't know. I like the hacking sort of ability. All right, well, I seem to have crashed my PlayStation now. Brilliant. Okay, oh, we've got Ghostbusters. Ghost? That wasn't in there when I looked yet. Oh, it does say just announced, so maybe it wasn't here the last time I looked. Ghostbusters. Okay. Ghostbusters Rides of the Ghost Lord. Really? Oh, this could be fun. Uh, is there a video? Let's hit the video. Well, Sony Pictures as well. Ooh. Everybody ready? Ready. Same. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> okay, well, that, that looks all right. I mean, it's it's done by Sony Pictures, isn't it? So that might be something worth putting on the old radar. I mean, how much how much are they saying for that? How much is that? How much is it? How much is it? Let's have a quick look. See, oh, there's no price yet. I'd put it on wish list. I'm going to keep an eye on that one because yeah, that that could be quite good fun. VR play. Okay. All right, nice. All right, well, that's that's one to put on the radar at least, and anyway, isn't it? But out of that whole, oh, okay, there's a Jurassic World one as well, is there? What the actual fudge? 
Oh, as I cartooned it up a bit. There's no video. There's no nothing to go by. Jurassic World Aftermath collection is suspenseful survival adventure. Okay, um, fine. Uh, I think I'd have to jump online to view some video footage of that one at some point. But there we go. That's my overview of PlayStation VR 2. Am I excited for it? Is there any titles out there that have got my interest? You can tell by me going through that list there, not really. There's not a lot out there apart from No Man's Sky, maybe that Ghostbusters game, and Gran Turismo 7 in VR. Other than that, not a lot. I was hoping to see that they might put that Tetris on there because I already bought it on PlayStation 4. I hope that gets an update because I really enjoyed playing Tetris in VR. It's so relaxing. Uh, there was Beat Saber as well. I don't own that one, but, you know, it's always great for parties and stuff like that. Not like that I can really throw a party in this tiny sort of cupboard of a room that I've got. But, you know, it's another title that could give me some exercise, to be fair, which I could always do with. Talking of which, there was a boxing game, which was really good fun on VR. I really enjoyed that one and that one was a proper freaking workout they used to get knackered by round four yeah anyway people um salutamondo take care and thank you very much for watching cheery bye